Hi everyone, hope you're well. Welcome back to our channel. So today I'm doing a tour of Isla's bedroom. I know I've been meaning to do it for ages and ages. I'm just popping the pillow back on her doll's bed. But yeah, I've just never got around to it. And then we were waiting for a sofa bed to turn up as well. So that was kind of like the last piece in her room. I probably am one of these people that will adjust things and add things and faff around. But yeah, I thought I'd give you a little tour. So this is what it's like as you come in. So we have the sofa bed that I just was talking about right here. It's from Ikea. And it's one of these pull out ones that pulls out to a double bed. Basically, we are in a technically three bedroom house, but the third bedroom is very, very small. So we need space for visitors when they come. And the dimensions of this bit here were really awkward to get a really nice sofa bed. So we kind of stuck to just a plain simple one. We are a bit Ikea happy in this room. Nearly everything we've got is from Ikea. Again, with being in military marriage quarters, it's hard to justify spending a lot of money when you move around so much. So her units over there are the Stuva, I think, S-T-U-V-A units from Ikea. And her bed, which you can see here, is the Cura bed, I believe. It comes in pine wood and we have painted it white with a white chalk furniture paint. We have put her bed up on the top there. You can also have the bed part on the bottom down here, obviously, and you can also have it not not being covered off, if you know what I mean. The IKEA website shows you all the different options you can do with this bed, but it's quite clever. It's a very good space saver. Her canopy is my favorite thing in her whole room. It is from Numero 74, so it's a bit pricey, but worth it. Look how beautiful it is, and it's so long. I just jazzed it up with some artificial flowers. I think they were from the range, cheap and cheerful. I love her little wall decal, decal, whatever you call it. Um, I hunted high and low for one of these. I really wanted one of the Sean Amari ones, but they're sold out everywhere. So I think this was from an independent Instagram shop. And then all these dots were from the modern nursery. Her dusky pink lampshade is from Ikea and then the dusky pink curtains which you can see over here are from H&M actually. We have a blackout blind here from Ikea. Very very cheap and not very good so I'm not even going to say what it's called because I would not recommend it. My mum made these really cute letters for Isla. I get asked quite a lot on Instagram whenever I show these where I got them from but my mum made them. I think she picked up all the bits from Hobbycraft. This little cross stitch is so special to me. My mum made it for me and it was in my room for like all of my childhood and growing up so I love the fact that I have it in Isla's room now. Over here we have a simple clothes rail which I put all her fancy dress outfits on. I just thought it was a nice touch, something a little bit different and she really enjoys being able to see all her outfits. Underneath here is a bit of a mess at the moment. It's just two toy bags and her blow up bouncing bunny thing behind it. I am in love with her little doll's bed. She got this for her birthday and it was from a shop called Jones Parker Toys or something like that. I can't remember, it was on Instagram. Um, but I think we actually, it's that brand, but we got it from a different shop but wherever I got it from, I'll pop the link below. And the little Liberty bedding is just adorable. So underneath her bed, we have this storage unit from Ikea. And basically in there is some more dressing up toys. In there are soft toys. We've got headbands and crowns and all sorts in there and Playmobil and smaller toys in there. This is her little John Lewis kitchen she got from my lovely friends for her second birthday, I think. That is an Ikea chair painted with pale pink chalk paint and some little bits from John Lewis there, the little coffee machine and toaster, so cute. I got this random weird looking um, wire trolley thing from Tiger, I think it was, but she loves it, like she pushes it around like a hospital bed and has her dollies in it. And then we have a little bookcase here. I got this from Sue Ryder, that charity shop thing off eBay, but it was new, I think. But yeah, it's just a really good way of storing books. And this rug down here is from Ikea. I really like the sort of Scandi feel of it. Up on top of our cupboards, those photo frames aren't always gonna be there. They should be over there, but because the blind is so annoying to put up and down, they're up there just now. And I got the seagrass baskets from Maisons du Monde, and they just have a sort of bunch of, I think it's more lac and stuff in there, like wraps and things at the moment. I really love all the wooden details around her room. So we've got these wooden eyelashes. We've got this whole wooden thing here. The actual big triangle pal shape thing came from a shop in Australia, but all the other bits were from UK Instagram shops. So I will link them below. And then I made that weird looking thing there. I'm also loving all the prints up in her room. I got these ages ago and these ones are just stuck up with some washi tape. And then the ones over here are framed. So that one's from a shop called Word Up, which I also have something in Lackland's Nursery. Really like them. And then I can't remember where these two came from, but I really like them. These little cloud decorations just literally stick onto the wall and they were from Tiger as well. So super cheap. And we got some more wooden decorations up there and over here. In terms of her cupboard setup, the shelf on the top is a bit of a dumping ground at the moment. We've got all her hanging clothes there. There's a basket underneath full of accessories. And then I'm loving the storage on this Stuva wardrobe thing. So we've got all her leggings and 
may as well show you. Um, leggings and trousers and skirts and sort of jazzy bottoms there and then all her jumpers in there and then this is kind of like her seasonal stuff so some in costumes and shorts at the moment not much in there just now and then in this unit this one is her vests pants and socks not very exciting and tights and then her favorite drawer her jammy drawer she's obsessed with jammies just like me and then all her tops the nursery tops go in there when they're not in the bag summery dresses and summery tops there that wardrobe there is one that was inbuilt in these marriage quarters and it's just full of junk at the moment. It's a bit of a storage one, so we will not look in there. And that's it, that's Isla's bedroom for now. So if I do any major changes or move things around, then I'll probably do another one of these. Also, when Lacko moves into his nursery, he's still in our bedroom at the moment in a bedside cot, I will do a little tour of that because it's, it's Isla's old nursery and it was very unisex, but I am gonna change a few bits just for him. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this room tour. It's definitely my favorite room in the house now. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and yeah, Hope you have a great week. We'll see you soon. Bye.